Hey guys, what up? Todd Lyles here, Service Excellence Training, and today I'm going to visit with you about how to get your spouse supporting your career. Now, I said I was going to do this at 11.45, and I'm just a little bit early, so, so I'm going to wait just a moment, give people a few moments to get on, because at 11.45, which is about 30 seconds from now, we're going to have a conversation. How to get your spouse to support your career. I have an amazingly supportive spouse. She's awesome. And I can share with you, there are some reasons why she's in support of that. So we're going to talk about that. I want to know, what about you? Is, is your wife bought in? Is your husband bought into the mission? <clears throat> Maybe you're not married yet. Maybe you're contemplating getting married, but per, perhaps you're a little concerned. Will they be 100% bought in? So what I want you to do is I want you to let me know how does your spouse support you or not support you. Now, you ready? I'm going to share with you how you can get your spouse bought in to your career, supporting your career so that you can be more productive and that you can have a better life. So, so here's a couple things. This would be the very first thing I'd recommend to you. Get him or her involved in the conversation. Get him or her involved in the conversation. Hey, I know what it's like to be a tech, to be a salesperson to be a manager of a company. You're tired. <laughs> you can be stressed at the end of the day, especially if it's a long day and you've ran lots of service calls and you're just worn out. You want to come home? You don't want to talk about it anymore, right? You want to, you know, it's kick back. You want to relax in your chair. Maybe crack open your favorite beverage. And you kind of disconnect. Now, you got to think about what that does to your spouse. This is about how to get them to support what you do. And all they see when you come home is that you disconnect. You don't want to talk to her. You don't want to talk to him. You say things like, baby, leave me alone. I just want to watch TV. I need to, I need to you know, debrief for a moment. And I get it because I, we all do that. But think about what that does. She sees you come home from a job that keeps you worn out, that shuts down your communication. And she loves you. He loves you. They want to talk. So one of the things that you can start doing is start including them in the conversation. Tell them about your day. Tell them what you've been doing. Don't shut them out. Because if you shut them out, they're going to connect you shutting them out to what happens out there. The reason why you're not talking in his or her mind is because of that daggum job you have. So include them in the conversation. Number two. Let them understand that your work is helping people. Get them to be a part of the experience. Now, this was an absolute game changer for me in my early days of business consulting. I spent a lot of time on the road. Lots of energy was out there. And a client asked me to go to dinner one night, and it was at the end of a long week of training, and I knew... That that probably wasn't going to be a good idea because I promised my wife I was going to be there. So I came home, I told her about it, and she said, well, she would go with me. So, all right, well, at least I get to spend some time with my wife. She goes with me. She's sitting at the table. She's listening to this contractor pour out his heart. At the end of it, we go home. We don't talk a whole lot about it. But she began to have this understanding that what we did is we helped people that were in need. Well, the following week, there was a phone call come in. It was a contractor on the other side of the line, and when I hung up, my wife said, are you going to go help them? You need to go help these people. They're in need. Now, see, that was a game changer because my wife is a caring individual. I bet your husband or spouse is too. And once she understood that it wasn't just about making money, once she understood that it was about helping real-life people like you that are actually in need, then it was a game changer. Your service technicians, your electricians, your salespeople, your AC techs, your plumbers, your business owners, and you are in the service industry. You are helping people in need every single time you go into a home. But does your wife, does your spouse understand that? Do they know that what you do is important and that it is serving a community and that you're relieving pain? You need to get them in that message. And I'm not exactly sure how to set this up, but maybe one of the best ways that you could possibly do this 
is to figure out a program where, you know, they've got your, your take your kid to work day. What about take your spouse to work day? Maybe if you could work that out. Hey, by the way, it'd be a great idea for you to do the same for her or him, wouldn't it? And then here's the last thing that kind of ties into point number two. Number three is it's more than a job. It's a mission. It's a calling. It's a passion. It's a career that you chose. And when your spouse begins to understand that, that it's actually a career, it's something that you want to do, something that you're passionate about doing, it's a life choice. And well, then she'll get behind that as well. Because who can get excited about jobs? There's paychecks to be made everywhere. And there's always a job that will pay a few dollars more. It's not about that. It's about a mission. Can you get excited about the mission that you're on? So here we go. Number one, include your spouse in the conversation. Let them know what's going on in your life. Don't let them connect the reason why you don't talk to them anymore to do the job. Number two, help them get the experience that you have so they see that you're helping people in need. Number three, tie this back into the mission. If you do those three things, you're going to find that your spouse is going to support your career. And as they say in the South, happy wife, happy life. I'm sure the same is true in reverse. All right, guys. This is Todd Lyles with Service Excellence Training, helping you turn learning into earning. And earning isn't just about money. Earning is about its increasing value in your life. Today, we were helping you turn learning into earning in your personal and professional relationships. You guys have an amazing day. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you really like this video, hit the share button. Help us spread the word. Almost 6,200 and growing strong. Let's keep growing, guys. God bless.